before this video begins, I would like to thank you guys for the support. 50 subscribers. Whoa! I know that's not that much, but um, for me, that actually is quite a lot because when I started doing this, I actually didn't really think much of it. But uh, thank you guys for 50 subscribers. I'm going to be doing a special giveaway. To enter, you have to be subscribed. And comment below your favorite food. Like, favorite food of all time. All those names will go into a hat, and I'll draw them out, and I will deliver that food to your house, personally, from me. I will cook it as well, and um, come with a signature, jar is more. Make sure you comment, I'll release who the winner is in the next video. Uh, if somehow you're not from my area, I will figure something out for you guys. Now let's get into the video. Take it away, jar. Welcome back guys to another video. Oh, okay, that was weird. Welcome back guys to another video of Ja is moi. Today I'll be making some Anzac biscuits because as you know it's Anzac Day um just around the corner. So I thought I might make some Anzac biscuits. Now today um will be another like vlog style video. Um and hopefully you guys can still learn the recipe of Anzac biscuits. And while eating them, I hope you guys remember those people that um, that uh, served for this wonderful country. So I'll only be cooking once a week now because school is back, and this cooking is actually for my hospitality class because I'm doing a certificate in hospitality and that stuff. Once a week will be the recipes that I've been set to make from hospitality, and I'll be bringing those recipes from me to you guys and hopefully you guys will make it. So, um, oh, that didn't work, stop. So, as you may be able to tell, I have the full fit today, the full chef's fit. Wow. Apron, uh, I'm going to wash my hands before cooking. I need to make sure everything I do is up to safe practices. While cooking, I'll need to make sure I'm regularly washing my hands, washing up after I doing stuff, no cross-contamination, that sort of things. While I'm in this chef uniform looking pretty snazzy, um, I'll just be cooking and showing you guys how to do it. So, Anzac biscuits, here we go. Let's get cooking. That's how you get all the germs off in this coronavirus. Oh, now I can't use both hands. That was dumb. Hands have been washed, as you can see. The first thing, the very first thing we're going to do is put our oven onto fan force and 180 degrees. Like that. Uh huh. Fan force. First thing we'll need is some rolled oats. We need one and a quarter cups of rolled oats. One. And a quarter. Oh, you would fall over a quarter. As well as that, we need one and a quarter cups of desiccated coconut. One cup. The last thing in here is just a cup of plain flour. One cup in there. Now we're going to grab a wooden spoon. That's not a wooden spoon, wooden spoon. Just gonna combine this a little bit, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's all we need. Now we're just gonna let that go, set that aside. Need that later. Now we're on to the next step, and you'll need a saucepan. I'd say like a medium saucepan like this, it's really heavy. And we're just gonna put that on like a medium heat. It won't be too hot. Yeah. So now, we're going to add 150 grams of butter in there. One cup of raw sugar. Yep, one full cup. And a quarter of a cup of golden syrup. A quarter of a cup. In there. Now I'm just going to grab our measuring spoon and keep stirring. 
until that's all, keep stirring until that's all melted and combined in. Okay, so the last bit of butter has just been melted. It's coming together. We're just gonna quickly take it off the heat. Put in half a teaspoon of bicarb soda. So there's the half a teaspoon. Quickly add that. Just stir that in. And we also want two um, table, two tablespoons of water. So I just added two tablespoons of water while it's off the heat. Just stir that back in and combine it all. And then you want to put it back on the heat and cook for like another two minutes. I've been stirring that for about two minutes now and taking it off the heat. Now we're just going to grab this and take it over to our mixture, which we set aside and pour it in. And now we're just going to pour it in. Now all we're gonna do is just combine this together to create our mixture. Now it's all combined. We're just going to get two baking trays lined with paper, with baking paper, and roll them into little balls and then put them in the oven to bake. Yeah. Billy, I'll put your link in this part of the video. <laughs> We're just going to grab a little bit of our mixture and make it into a little ball. Make it into a ball about that big, place it on our baking tray and just do the same. Oh, yes. While I'm making this, just thought I'd let you know, there is no dog in this video. I know, my little mate Everest will not be in this video because I'm at home today from school and he is at my grandparents they're looking after him for today so uh yeah no, none of him in here i'm sorry okay now we have done that we've got all our balls nice ready to go in the oven what but what's that you say there's still enough left for one in there but jar there's no room what do we do um so unhealthy mm. now all we want to do is grab a fork with like the lines in the middle, because that's what a fork is. And we're just gonna individually press each one down and leave that iconic fork mark. Now we have marked out all our cookies. Holy moly, that tray looks epic. We're going to put it into our oven. Right in there. Oh, cook for about eight minutes in there. Uh, or until you see it and it's nice and golden and um, then you'll know it's done. So put those bad boys in there, or girls, both, whatever they want, and let that cook. Okay, so it's been about eight, ten minutes, something like that. We're going to turn our oven off. Oh, with mittens, bad idea. Oh, oh, let's check out. They, oh, and looking. Kinda fancy, if I do say so myself. Now, you just wanna let them cool. So I'd say about like 10 minutes, just let them cool and they should be all good to eat. Now that my cooking part is done, I can take off my uh, chef uniform and uh, get ready for next time. But uh, while they're cooking, you know, just relax. Have a good time. The cookies are ready. So let's try them. Oh, whoops, I already had one. But here, here it is. Soft and chewy. That is a great Antac biscuit. We will remember them. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thumbs up if you did. Um, hope you guys make it. It was really good. Um, thank you for watching and um, have a great term. I'll be here, still cooking for you. So, uh, poof. Poof.